Welcome to Yankee Stadium. The Yankees have had another disappointing season and will not be involved in the playoffs. If you believe the reports by the baseball pundits, manager Aaron Boone's job remains safe unless GM Brian Cashman is overruled by owner Hal Steinbrenner. After all, it's not Boone who constructed a team full of righties in a stadium built for lefties. But it is true that the team has failed to respond under Boone's leadership. It may not happen, and the real culprit is probably Brian Cashman and his analytics staff. But just in case, here's a list of five managers who could replace Aaron Boone. Number five, Carlos Beltran. There's no question that Carlos Beltran was an excellent Major League Baseball player. He played in over 2,500 games, over 20 years in the league. He was in 65 different postseason games and was a clutch player. But there's no record of him managing, so the Yankees would be bringing in another first-time manager. Following the 2017 season, the Yankees' managerial position was open and Beltran was interviewed. However, the Yankees selected Aaron Boone to be their manager, and in December of 2018, the Yankees hired Beltran as a special advisor to GM Brian Cashman. On November 1, 2019, the Mets hired Beltran as their manager to replace Mickey Calloway, signing him to a three-year contract. However, on January 16, 2020, before he ever managed a game with the Mets, he agreed to part ways with the team as one of the players implicated by name for his role in the Houston Astros sign-stealing scandal. On January 28, 2022, he joined the Yes Network as a game analyst, but that didn't last beyond the season. And in February of 2023, he left the Yankees broadcast team and joined the Mets front office. However, he is highly regarded by his peers as a potential excellent manager down the line. However, having not managed at the big league level, it might not be the right choice. Number four on the list is a guy who is well-respected for working with young players, and that is Joe Madden. Joe Madden played in the minor leagues. He began his Major League Baseball coaching career with the Angels in 94. He served under managers Buck Rogers, Marcel Latchman, John McNamara, Terry Collins, and Mike Sosha. He then joined the Tampa Bay Rays in 2006 and managed them through 2014 and won the 2008 American League pennant. He did have an opt-out clause in his contract, and he exercised it following the 2014 season and joined the Chicago Cubs, where he led them to the 2015 NLCS and was named the 2015 NL Manager of the Year. In 2016, he managed the Cubs to their first World Series title since 1908 and managed the Cubs through 2019 before joining the Angels in 2020 and leaving the Angels after the 2022 season. He is probably most well-respected for his ability to work with young players, which could be to his advantage because the Yankees have a lot of young players coming up. They have Dominguez and Wells and Peraza, Oswaldo Cabrera, all these guys who's come up over the last couple of years. And I think Joe Madden could be a pretty good fit. Number three is one of the most beloved athletes in New York sports history, and that is Donnie Baseball, Don Mattingly, former captain, former MVP, former hitting coach, former manager, former bench coach. He's done it all in baseball. Now, say what you want about his managerial career, but he's never really had a championship-level roster, and the World Series is the only thing missing from his resume, and I think it's time. I do think that his experience coming up through the Yankees' minor league system and becoming a star in New York has provided him with some wisdom that he could pass along to some of the younger players. He's always been a guy who stressed playing the game the right way, having good fundamentals, and keeping your head in the ball game. And as a contact hitter who won a batting title, I think he could provide some useful insight to struggling hitters as well and maybe get some guys to change their approach now and then. He was also a hitting coach on the 2004 team, which almost made it to the World Series, but not quite. You know he's ready to get there, and perhaps it's fate that he finally gets to the World Series as a New York Yankee. Not a Marlin, not a Dodger, and not a Blue Jay. He has not won as a manager yet, but neither had Joe Torre when he took over as Yankees manager, and we all know how that worked out. At least he's got experience. 
Mattingly would definitely be the guy I would hire if I were the GM, no question. And I'm not just saying that because he's my favorite player of all time. I believe he's the right guy with the right attitude at the right time. Number two, the guy with one of the best all-time nicknames, Hensley Bam Bam Mullins. Mullins has been a Major League Baseball hitting coach. He served as the hitting coach for the San Francisco Giants beginning in 2010. He helped the Giants win a World Series in three of his first five seasons. Bam Bam speaks five languages. He is well-respected in the game. He was the Yankees' assistant hitting coach in 2022 when they led the league in runs scored before plummeting to the bottom in 2023. He's never been a full-time manager at the major league level, but he was the manager of the Netherlands in the World Baseball Classic. He might be a good fit because he's been with the Yankees before and had some success, and the fact that he speaks all those languages should allow him to be a pretty good communicator. Now, before we get to number one, I got to tell you about the sponsor of this video, and if you're familiar with this channel, you're familiar with Game Time. They are an excellent sponsor. They are the sponsor of NYY Recaps. You can download the Game Time app to your phone or other smart device or visit GameTime.co, but just use the app. It's a lot easier. You can get last minute tickets to all your favorite types of events, baseball, other sports. I even saw bull riding on there. They have concerts, theater, comedy, you name it. I use it to get tickets to Jerry Seinfeld. And if you use the code NYY Recaps, no spaces, you can get $20 off of your first purchase. Terms apply. And I got to say, it makes getting last minute tickets so much easier. Getting tickets to your favorite events should not be stressful. You don't want to be stressed out when you go out for a night on the town. So download the app, use the code NYY Recaps, lowest price on last minute tickets, guaranteed. And number one is going to be the most highly sought after free agent manager on the market this year, and that is Craig Council of the NL Central Division leading Brewers. Now, at the time of this video, there's about a week left in the season, and the Brewers are leading the Cubs in the NL Central by six games with an 88 and 68 record. He is well regarded throughout Major League Baseball for his managerial skills. He is known as an excellent clubhouse guy. He works the room very well, but he's also a strong, no-nonsense type of leader who knows the game inside and out. He's won a World Series with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Unfortunately, that was against the Yankees. He does have some kids in college, and it's kind of a rumor that he wants to go watch them play and be a part of their development. So he might be taking a couple of years off of managing. That's why he hasn't signed an extension. But should he decide to manage, the Yankees could be a pretty good home for him. Let me know in the comments who you would replace manager Aaron Boone with as manager. It might be somebody from this list. It might be somebody else, but I would love to hear it. I'll see you next time.